Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Right now, I'm going to show you two things that you can do that you may not already be doing to make super lather or uber lather, as our German friends say, when you're mixing your shaving soap or your shaving cream. The first thing is you have a puck in a mug like this. This is the Parasso Professional Shave Mug. So the soap puck is in there. What you want to do most gents would just take their brush, wet it, and then start swirling. Instead of just wetting the brush and swirling it directly in the soap, you're going to bloom the soap first, which means just run some hot water over the top of it, or take some in your fingers and drop it in there, just like that. Just a few droplets, just to coat the top so that it gets saturated. That will help soften up the soap. That's step one. Step two, get yourself a brush soaking cup Right here, fill it with hot water. Now the brush I'm going to use is the Parasso by Omega shaving brush. Here it is new in the package, but here's my old used and abused, ridden hard. It's a bore brush. So not too expensive, nothing outrageous. This brush is about 20 bucks. I'm gonna take this, drop it right into the cup and just let it saturate like that. Just let that sit for about a minute. You can wet your face, prepare for your shave, which I'm going to do a video after this. My video after this, just so you know, it's going to be taking off this beardage with this razor, which is the Mula R41 in black. So after your brush has soaked, watch what we're going to do. Normally I will take it out and give it a few shakes to remove the water. I'm not going to. Just let the water stay in there. See how that water is dripping out? We're going to leave that. Now we're going to go right into the mug and start swirling. The problem with a lot of lather is that there's not enough water. It comes out too dry. So you can see, no problem with the water right here. In this little mug, it's generating a good amount of lather and it starts out a little bit watery. But as you swirl 50, 60 times, it gets thicker and thicker and starts spilling around the sides. You can see that's exactly what's happening. So just keep swirling in circular fashion. Just a little bit of pressure on the brush and it's coming all around the sides. You just dump that right back in. Swirl it around, right back in. You just keep doing this until you get enough lather for three or four passes, whatever you intend on doing. Two or three passes normally. And then you can just face lather. Take the brush, apply it directly to your face. So just by employing those two steps, blooming the soap with some hot water on top of it, a few droplets, just to coat the top and soften it a bit, and then not removing the water from your brush, just swirling it directly on the soap while it's very wet. <laughs> Man down, I just dropped a, a load of lather came out. So those two things will assist you in generating thicker and more luscious shaving lather. I always like to have a mug at the ready with the soap loaded inside. That way when you go into the bathroom, you can just bloom the soap with a little bit of hot water on top and then soak your brush, grab your brush and swirl it and face lather or bowl lather, whatever you prefer. Get your shave on, nice and quick. Let's try building some uber lather with shaving cream. Shave Nation bowl, right here. Let's try the Parasso, very popular Parasso menthol and eucalyptus shaving cream. Let's warm up the bowl. Open the cap on the Parasso. Just squirt a little bit down into the bottom right here. Right there, fill up that lather spot and remove the Parasso bore brush from the cup. Leave that water in there. Right into the bowl. 
Just press the tips down into the lather spot at the bottom and you can see it's very watery right now. See that? Just keep spinning circular fashion. Just keep spinning that brush around and it starts out sudsy and watery. But just keep going. It might take 75, 100 swirls with the brush. Press it down into the lather spot at the bottom. And you can see how it starts generating lots of thick lather. As I said, starts out a little sudsy, watery, but thickens up. The more you swirl, the thicker it gets. And you need a good sized bowl like this. See how it flares out at the top? There's room for this lather to expand and fill up the bowl. It's difficult to do with a mug like this because once you put the soap in there, there's not much room left for the shaving cream to build. As you can see in just about a minute, this Shave Nation ceramic bowl is filled with shaving lather. Look at that. Lots of lather for many passes. Nice and thick. Look at that. Good stuff. And the bowl is still filled. There's a lot in the bowl. So that's it. Excellent tip to help you build Uber lather. Didn't even spill around the sides. It just stayed inside the bowl. Excellent way to increase the amount of shaving lather for your shaves. And not a super expensive shaving cream. The Parasso, reasonably priced. The Omega for Parasso bore brush, around $20. So it's not like it's a $200 brush or anything. You can do this with just about any brush. I hope that helps you in your quest to build uber copious amounts of lather, shaving lather. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor before I head out, please smash that subscribe button down there. Then ring the bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com. Enter what you need in the search box. It'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. It's a shame to let all this lather go to waste. See you next video. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shape, have a great day.